Thank you so much, uh, Mayor. I'm Charles Kowate from High Radio. I'm having about three questions. One is, uh, you talked about the prices of commodities encouraging the traders to reduce. But there's a complaint still from the locals, I mean South Sudanese, especially the young people who are doing this local local business, that the Juba City Council continue to impose high taxes on them. Now my question is, what are you doing to empower this local for these young people who are trying, who are trying to survive? And then the, the second question is, a day after the protest, your deputy, Dick Dick Mayer, did, made a statement to the media and then threatening to shoot anyone who goes to the street. Now the question is, is this the position of Juba City Council, that whoever goes for a strike will be shot at? And then uh, the last question is, Yesterday, my colleagues here from my radio were here in your office and then you advised them not to access Koyakoya market because they wanted to speak to some of the traders. So is Koyakoya market now access to the journalist or not yet? If not yet, until when? Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you so much. I think uh, at that particular time we had been uh, still in process of, uh, of investigation and also putting things in order. Uh, that was why we stopped uh, them not to go to the market. But now uh, things are uh, okay. Even uh, yesterday, uh, at the midday, uh, they are supposed uh, to go. And I am telling you the, uh, the media houses that uh, now uh, you can access uh, the, the, the markets as normal. And then secondly, also you ask a question about the issue of uh, uh, Thick Thick who uh, release and information in the market. Uh, that is not the position of uh, Juba City Council. Uh, Juba City Council is providing service to the people of the city and at the same time also they are there to maintain uh, law and order uh, and public uh, tranquility also. So we as the city, we uh, always uh, condone uh, a peaceful coexistence within the city and also whenever there are any protests of such kind, we apprehend uh, the people and then we investigate them so that we know the motives of why they are prot protesting. Protest in the markets is not really good because it's caused uh, destruction and harm people. Because these are people, the place where uh, there is a big number of people and that is why uh, we really, uh, uh, we, uh, we stop uh, people not, not to, uh, to make or conduct uh, such particular uh, protests uh, in the markets. The other question is about the prices, uh, or about the, the prices in the market and then also the issue of youth who are making or engaging in, uh, in, uh, in trade uh, or small uh, businesses in the market. We are not imposing high uh, taxes. We only give them a daily uh, tax, which is uh, something to do with 550 uh, SSP, which is a little money. It's not a big money. Sometimes when the business is big, they are uh, asked to pay 500 uh, pounds. That is uh, in, uh, in one month uh, period. So I don't think that really the uh, problem. But the most important issue is that they always block the roads. And that is why where the city council have problem with them. They block roads. They put their things in the uh, pavement of the roads. And sometimes even they uh, block the road completely. And this is where sometimes we send uh, public order in order to disperse them, in order to see that people are able to move. I think uh, this is uh, why they are. But we are planning in order to ensure that there are open markets for them, whereby they can put their things in a safe place. Because on the middle of the roads, they can be also fall into accidents or uh, traffic accidents. Yes, please. Thank you, I'm T. Giovetti from Radio Mirror. Mm -hmm. um, my question is, as we know, uh, in some democratic countries, it's normal for citizens to come out and uh, demonstrate peacefully for a right that they think they deserve to, to, to get. So why are we saying that uh, citizens should not come out to do a peaceful protest or demonstration? Thank you. Uh, we did not talk about peaceful protest. But we talk about the harsh uh, protests. 
Weeks, especially people sometimes conduct it in uh, public places, like in the market, which is uh, unbecoming. That is not permissible for people to conduct a harsh uh, protest in the markets and also in a, in a place where there are many people, especially uh, there are uh, children there, women and all that. So protest of such kind is not permissible, and especially in the market. And that uh, protest was not peaceful. As you know, they started burning the, 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 the tires there in the market. That is to say it is a harsh uh, protest, which is not permissible by the authorities because it will cause damages, it will uh, lead into robbery in the market, it will uh, lead into burning of the market and all that. So that protest is not for the good intention, but I think it is for destruction. That is why always we warn people not to do that. Otherwise, uh, protests uh, can be done, but it will be done in a peaceful way and in, uh, a, in, a, in a coordinated manner and to be approved by the authorities responsible in the, in the, in the country. That is why uh, we as the government, we always, we uh, abstain people, not in order to conduct a such particular protest. We have the parliament uh, in both national and state. We have the uh, local councils. Those are places whereby if there is any problem, if there is any crisis, if there is anything affecting the population, those are the right channels in order to uh, provide uh, such particular uh, uh, issues so that they are directly directed to the to the responsible people in the government and then it is resolved but it is not that you go to the road and then you make destruction burning tires and all that this is what we mean our country is democratic uh, country but we want to see that things are done in the right way even in america and all those countries you see that there are process to be done first there are communications to be done in order to see that the security organs and even the, the leaders of the country, they have to know and they have to come out to receive the protest if it is peaceful in order to hear from them. They will have a petition presenting to either to the parliament or presenting it to the leaders, to the president. Uh, that is how things are done. So this is what uh, I, I, can under, I can understand about the, 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 the protest. Yes, please. Okay, my name is Daniel Garan, I work for TRC, the Radio Community. Yeah, you talk that the, the protest has actually been linked to people coalitions and the youth from Juba University. How did you link this to the student in Juba University and the people coalitions? That's one. And secondly, we also know one of our colleagues, Dean Magot, was also arrested within the protest. And it has taken now three days, and he has not yet been released. Why do you think he has, she has been kept in the prison like that? Yet she's a journalist. She was not among the protesters. He is from Weeks uh, right, uh, a media. Journalist working for Voice of America. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, based on why we say that uh, those suspects are from PCCA is based on the preliminary investigation done, and then they say that. They say it with their own mouth that they belong to PCCA. And also at the same time, there are students University of Juba. They have been conducting this, uh, the planning of this protest within the University of Juba, which is wrong. You see? Uh, secondly, you ask about the issue of uh, one of the uh, media personnel is being arrested. I'm not aware about it uh, because what had happened uh, in the market uh, it is the public uh, responsibility. It is not ne uh, necessarily to be, uh, to be addressed by the city council. When it happened, uh, joint security forces come to the market. They are deployed there in order to address or uh, to, to arrest the situation. So they are found a suspect. Always in law, you have to see that uh, when, somebody, when somebody is arrested in such particular uh, area, of concern. They are found, of course, uh, burning the, 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 the tires and all that, but still they are considered suspect. So after the preliminary investigation and then thorough investigation, now this is where, uh, if at all, they are really convicted and then uh, the law will take its charge. But if they are found that they are ignorant or they are innocent on what had happened, they would be released. So when you talk of two to three days, that I don't know, him even that he's been arrested and all that. But what I heard is that there are some of the suspects being 
apprehended and they are taken for the investigation. So I really knew that they are in good uh, health because they are under the custody of police. They are not taken anywhere. They are under the custody of the police and that is a normal uh, procedure always happening whenever any crisis happens. If there are no any question, uh, I just want uh, also to appeal to all media houses uh, within the city of Juba in order to convey a good information, a correct information, rather than conveying a hate uh, information. Uh, this really, we found that uh, some of you are doing that, but we as the government, we have always, in order to advise you that you people have to refrain from this. Because sometimes we can say something here or we can say something and then you provoke the situation and making things so difficult. That is why we are warning you always uh, from time to time that you need to work for this country. You are part of this country. You are a citizen of this country. But it is only roles and responsibilities that divide or that separate us. You are doing the job and we are also doing the job. The job that you are doing, we like it because you are conveying information to people. Without you, what we are doing here would not be known. So I am appealing to you personally as the mayor of Yuba City Council in order to say that let us not provoke situation. Let us not welcome, you see, uh, or uh, accept such particular uh, information that always create uh, disunity and then hatred in the community and within the city or that provoke situation so that it become uh, serious. I think you are always happy on doing that. But really, I'm telling you that this is not a good time for us in order to play those roles that have no any uh, importance in our life.